Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we will learn all about Angular's data binding. That's right. So what exactly is data binding? Data binding is to, to interact with the data from your template to component class. Think of it this way. We have our template file. We have our controller, which is our component class. We would be able to send data from our template HTML to component and read data from component to template. That's simply said, that's data binding in Angular. We will learn all about that in detail along with practicals. But before we get started, friends, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. This is part of Angular full tutorial series with live examples. And if at any point, if you have any queries, any doubts, feel free to add them in the comment section and I will be happy to help you and provide you free advice. Let's get started. So Angular data binding. So data binding simply means interacting with data from component class to our view or template and vice versa. So it means dynamically passing data from template that is our, so template here can be our view, you can call it HTML and to component class. Now component class is nothing but our controller which is where our logic mostly resides. Now we can do it in three ways. One, using ng model, we can just specify the name of the model and our controller will then be able to associate and get the data required. So there are two types of data binding. One is one way data binding, that is from view to controller. And two way data binding is whenever you change from template to controller and back to controller from to template. We'll see that in detail with explanation so it would be much easier for you to understand let's start one by one so let's get started with practical so i have my component i have my application running which has some modules and simple components we have generated these as part of our previous tutorials so if you want to get to that level i request you to go and check out the videos there all right, so I'm going to work first on the component class. So here we see I have def I have declared a variable called main content. Now this main con content is defined in our, you see here, we are defining our variable main content and passing some value. So this value is what we want it to be reflecting in our HTML. So you will use the expression double mustache that is two curly braces and then put the variable name let's see this in action we see this is main content area so this is the value which is dynamically coming from our controller i'm going to change it now and call it welcome to Right? So I have now made it welcome to our tutorial. So we expect this value to be displayed in our application. So we see here it says welcome to our tutorials. So this is the data binding we are talking about from controller to our template. Now we can pass any value here, any number of, we can pass some uh, whatever formatting numbers, calculations that you want to do and pass that value. So now let's define something else. Now I'm going to use a couple of more things here, uh, which is passing data we have seen. Now we will use forms, we'll pass some data, we'll pass events, but for the sake of this, I'm keeping it simple. So I have a value that I've binded here we, as we have seen. Now this is the communication that is happening between our controller and our template. So there are various types. There are one, like I told, there is one way, there is two way. One way is when we use events or style binding. We have seen that in previous tutorials also, we can define ng style equal to, and then we can define our ng style. We can define ng class. So these are all one way. It's coming from controller to template. So these are all, this all when clubbed together becomes your one-way data binding, right? 
so I can I'll show you one simple thing before I end this video and go to the next one where we will cover in detail so let's go to our component let's take two variables right so I have two variables let's add them and I'll have C equal to 0 I'm initializing C and I'm saying this dot C is equal to this dot A this dot B now let's show this value in our div and using curly braces we'll just say C here now let's see the output so we see here the output is displayed as 13 so this is the first step you should do to learning about data binding this shows you how you can define variables which can be string which can be integers anything and then display them in the template so give it a try and in the next step tutorial i'm covering one way data binding and two way data binding in detail thank you for joining